is Annika, welcome to my Chanika. So today I'm going to be eating food on camera for views. I went to the beach yesterday and I haven't showered since and I don't want to right now. I'll do it tonight. So we're just going to deal with this hair for a sec. So it's like 3 p.m. I haven't eaten today. So I'm really fucking hungry, but I wanted to do like a mukbang Q&A. I got a burrito from this place called El Pelon, and normally I wouldn't be a pussy bitch and open it up to eat it. But I acknowledge that I'm eating on camera, so I don't want to like... <laughs> Y'all know. So I opened it up, but I'm kind of like triggered because like I want the tortilla. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. I did like a question thing on my story, and then I also did a post on my... <laughs> Finsta. It's just like the Finsta. I don't know how they want me to eat this. I suppose wrapped up. <laughs> when are you gonna do your own tour? Well, I'd have to be fucking rich to do my own tour. Once I have enough money, I promise I will because that sounds like a fucking blast. It's mostly just a money issue right now. Why I can't even do my own merch. Haha. <laughs> what is the last meme you like? How to see the stuff you've liked on Instagram. Settings account post you've liked. Mmm! They was right. This is the last meme that I liked. It's that picture of the guy that says I sexually identify as a failure. <laughs> oh, this is another good meme. Uh, this is disgusting. I'm so sorry that you have to watch this. Why wasn't Capricorn the first zodiac sign of the makeup series? Number one, being the main reason. I started in January, and I had the idea when it was Aquarius season, not when it was Capricorn season. So I wasn't gonna go back into Capricorn. I was just gonna start where I was. That's the number one thing. Number two, Capricorn isn't the first sign of the zodiac. Aquarius isn't even the first sign of the zodiac. The reason why I did it was just because of the timing. But the first sign of the zodiac is Aries. I mean, that's why I didn't do Capricorn first. Biggest regret, you change what happened looking back now or keep it that way. I feel like I have a lot of regrets, but I don't think that I would change any of them. I know this is a stereotypical answer, but it's like the butterfly effect. If I had changed that one thing, I could be a completely different person now, and I don't know if I would want to, like, take that risk. How do you deal with anxiety? So yesterday, I was going to the beach with some friends, and I was literally having the worst anxiety of my entire life. It was awful. It literally felt like I was gonna vomit and diarrhea at the same time. How awful would that have been? I actually, I did that one time. It was really hard at first because at first I was alone but then I met my friend at the tea stop so it got a little bit better after that but when I was alone I needed to just focus on breathing really really hard and I tried to get my mind off of it. I had like some Netflix shows downloaded so I watched those on the train until I met up with my friend. And then when I met up with my friend I was still fucking anxious but Miriam, my queen, she was like doing some shit that her therapist taught her. Five things that you can feel, five things that you can smell and she's like what are five green things around you? What are five red things? And like it sounds so fucking stupid. When she first said okay tell me five things that you can feel. I was like, bitch. But it really did help because I wasn't thinking about it. It was still fucking awful. I felt really nauseous. But at the end of the day, I'm really glad that I went and I didn't go home because I was thinking about going home. So <laughs> but when you push through, just know that there's going to be a time when your anxiety ends. But if you really need to, go home. Nothing works better than just like lying in your own bed or like hugging your mom. <laughs> I'm going to switch over to my Insta comments. Maybe I'll switch back. I should have asked on Twitter. I don't know why I asked two different sets of people on Instagram, but it's fine. No fuck. Top five favorite Netflix shows. That's really hard. That's like cool and unusual punishment. I've been watching a lot of Hulu recently because I've seen everything on Netflix and Netflix is kind of trash. No cap. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in an order. Too much. You're already asking me to pick five. You want me to order them? Absolutely not. Okay, so I really like Crazy Ed's Girlfriend. I just finished watching that. Somebody recommended it to me. I think I asked on my story like Netflix or Hulu recommendations and somebody said Crazy Ed's Girlfriend. I was like, all right, literally the best show might be my number one. It's for a very like specific type of humor. So it's like they they'll like there are songs in it. It's all literally like ironic. It's campy. It's an aesthetic style that regards something as appealing because of its bad taste and it's ironic value. So it's just, it's literally funny because it's bad, but the writers know that it's bad, so it's like still good. You know, it's not like so bad. There's still a plot and the plot is still super followable and really interesting. And there's still good drama, but it's like all the fucking characters are stupid and I love it. Shameless, that's just a classic one. I really love Shameless. Royal Pains is another really good show. It's about a doctor who gets like, did he get fired? I don't exactly remember because I watched it a while ago, but then he becomes like a freelance doctor in the Hamptons. And it's just, it's a really interesting show. I like that. There are a lot of seasons in that too. And then how many have I done? Last one is Parenthood. Again, kind of like a classic show, but it's a good show. There's a lot of different things going on so that's why it's interesting. I also like weeds. I feel like I need to give that a mention. I like a lot of different shows. I've seen like almost everything. Someone asked if I'm planning on college and if so which one. I am planning on applying to college. The only reason I would not go to college is if I had a really good reason. 
not to go to college. But I really want to go to UCLA or NYU. Those are like my top schools. I haven't visited any schools, so maybe I would feel differently after I visited them. But based solely off of the things that I have heard, I want to go to UCLA or NYU. But preferably UCLA because I want to get out of the Northeast. And someone asked where I get most of my clothes. I get a lot of my clothes from Dolls Kill and thrifting. And I used to shop a lot at Urban Outfitters, but I don't really anymore because I feel like the amount of things that they're making has gone down and the amount of people that are buying their shit has gone up. So there's like way too much overlap. And I think that is like really weird when you show up to school and somebody is wearing the same shirt as you. <laughs> hidden talents that I have. I have no hidden talents. I can do the clover with my tongue. I can literally make an immaculate room go from clean to messy in less than a day. That's kind of it. All my other talents are pretty visible. I don't have any talents, so that's why you can't see them. If you could have one question answered, what would be the question? Like, what happens after you die or whatever? I have a lot of questions, but I don't know which ones I would want to have answered, you know? One of my major questions is like, what happens after you die? Also, is God real? That's a question that I want to know the answer to so bad. But I feel like if I knew the answer to either of those questions, and it's not the answer that I wanted it to be, my life would be fucked, like shattered. I would be too scared to ask those questions if I knew that I was gonna get a legitimate answer. Because the thing about life, the beauty of life is the uncertainty, and I feel like the second anything becomes certain, there's no point in living anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean that in like a suicidal way, but it's like, if you know what's gonna happen, then what's the point of getting there, you know? Like for instance, if I asked the universe, am I gonna become rich? And the universe said yes, then I wouldn't work to become rich. You know? Does that make any sense? And then would I still even be rich if I'm not working for it? You know? It's kind of like a mind fuck. What is your favorite kind of dog? I really like dogs that are short. I don't know what they're called. They're like white and then they have little, sometimes they have little like bangs and they're like, <laughs> it's not really helpful. Small, white, dog, Maltese. They're so cute! They're so cute! I want a Maltese so bad. Also corgis <gasps> and wiener dogs. <gasps> Corgis and wiener dogs I think are my favorite because I love dogs that are so like long or fat but they're so close to the ground. I think it's so cute. How do you feel about The Office leaving Netflix? I'm gonna get so much hate for this but personally I don't care. I've never watched The Office all the way through. I've gotten to like season two and then I just gave up. It's just not. There's no plot and that drives me crazy. It's actually kind of interesting because there are some shows that I like with no plot but the characters have to be really developed and I feel like with The Office all of the characters are so, the whole show show is just so subdued. It's like so deadpan. And I like deadpan. I think deadpan is like one of the best kinds of humor. But if you use it all the time, if everything's deadpan, then nothing's deadpan. You know? It loses its effect after a while. I don't love that. So I never found The Office super funny. I like Parks and Rec a little bit better, but it's still kind of the same thing, but I definitely like Parks and Rec better. But I think that's just because I love Amy Poehler. I'm not really that sad about it. Also, isn't it going off in like 2020? I'm literally gonna be in college when it gets taken off Netflix. Like, y'all are fine. You can watch it like eight more times before it gets taken off. Are you gonna dye your hair again? If so, what color? Everybody wants me to dye my hair. Whenever I ask for video requests, everybody's like, dye your hair for clout. And the thing is, I love my hair color. And I used to not, I I didn't hate it, but I just thought it was like lame and I used to want to change it really bad. <clears throat> now I have like so much love for it. I think it's really pretty. It looks great in the sun. It's like the perfect shade of brown. It's interesting. So I don't think that I'm going to dye my hair, at least not anytime soon. Because when I dyed it red, that was a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. But I know that that's red and red takes forever to come out. But like my hair is still kind of red and I hate it and it makes me sad. Thoughts on space. Damn, y'all are really asking the deep questions, bro. Space is like one of my biggest fears because infinity is my biggest fear basically that was way too big a bite eternity and infinity and just like forever scared the shit out of me it's just not something that i like to think about because forever is forever and that fucks me up big time forever exists after you die forever is not just a subjective term it is objective forever is forever and that's why death scares me it's not actually like dying it's not what happens if you die it's just like aren't i gonna get bored but at the same time uncertainty the beauty of life somebody commented do you love me and at first i was like yeah then i saw that your at was i put my dick in a bag of doritos and now i love you even more i put my dick in a bag of doritos and maybe get a bitch suck the dust off the tip Jesus is the one. If you could travel to one country with everything paid for with a friend, where would you go? I've wanted to go to Japan my whole life, but I think I would want to go to like Costa Rica or like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, maybe. I want to go to Japan really bad, but the, I feel like the culture shock and the language barrier, I feel like it would be way too much for me. Just thinking about it, I can feel myself getting overwhelmed, just like standing in a Japanese airport, just going, 
And also, oh my god, I've literally never flown that far in my life. I've never been on a plane for longer than six hours, and I just cannot imagine. Thank you so much for watching this mukbang. I think I'm gonna end it here because I think we're done. My camera's gonna die. I'm almost out of space. But I'm gonna film a bunch of other videos today, so I'll see you in a sec, but you're not gonna see me for like another few days. So don't miss me too much. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on mukbanging. Tell me that I'm an idiot. You know that you'll be lying. What?